organizing web pages into rows and columns. There are some limits to HTML. By default, text goes to the top left. What if you want it elsewhere? As shown here. Well, you could try teletype text. Here's the web page I'm working on. I'd like to move that word hi and by to the center of the page. Let's see if teletype text can help me do that. I'll open the page in Notepad and surround it by teletype text, then turn off the teletype text. Save my changes. I'll switch to the browser and I'll refresh. All that did was change it to a courier typeface. What about PRE? Preformatted. I'll change this to PRE and I'll change this to PRE. PRE should not need the break. I'll change this just a little bit so I'm putting the words between the PRE tag and the ending PRE tag. First I'll save my changes. I'll switch to the browser. I'll refresh. While this is still teletype, remember there was no BR, but it's recognizing the fact that I hit the enter key. Maybe PRE will also let me add some space. Back in Notepad, I'll just add a lot of space here. Save my change. Switch to the browser. Refresh. Hey, that's the middle of the page. I'll do that to the second line as well. To save my changes, Control S. Switch to the browser. Refresh. F5. Hey, that's in the middle of the page. Unless somebody is looking at it in a smaller window, and then it's to the right of the page. The problem is, you don't know how big their window will be. We'd have the same problem using the non-breaking space, wouldn't we? I can't use spaces. How would you do it in Word? In Word, you would insert a table. You would draw your box. Subdivide your box so you can put something in the middle. Subdivide it so you can put things in the middle. Type your text. And then on the table tab, for borders, no borders. Now it looks like the word is hanging in the middle of the page. That's what I want to do in HTML. I need to make a table. So let's learn about HTML tables. Create the table using the table tag and then end the table. Subdivide the table into table rows with the TR tag. Make sure you turn it off. Subdivide the row into details. I know it would have been nice if they called them columns or cells, but it's called a detail. All of your stuff goes between the table detail tag and an ending table detail tag. Then you could copy paste to create an additional detail. Then you could copy paste to make additional rows. And then you can replace that placeholder stuff with your real stuff. Let's try that in Notepad. I'm going to get rid of my experiments. The first thing I'll do is add the table tag. Don't forget to turn the table off. Subdivide the table into rows. 
I like to add a space or an indention to help me see the different parts of the table. Then we subdivide the row into details. Remember, the visible part of the table goes inside of the details. I could put stuff. I think for right now, I'll just put the letter X. Let me save my changes right now and see what I've got so far. Switch to the browser and refresh. Well, there's an X, but it went all the way to the left of the page. Also, I can't see the table. Well, just like in Word, we could change the borders. We can add a border to this table. In Notepad, adding to the table tag, border equals a value. In this case, the value, I'll just make a one pixel border. Save my changes. Switch to the browser. And now I can start to see the table taking shape. Back in Notepad. Let me add another detail. Paste. How about paste one more time? Save my changes. Switch to the browser. Refresh. I can clearly see I'm making a three column table. How about I play a game of tic-tac-toe? Back in Notepad. Now let me copy that entire row. Break the highlights, start a new line, paste. For tic-tac-toe, I need three rows. So let me do that one more time. Here's where the table begins and ends. Here's the first row. Here's the second row. Here's the third row, and each row has one, two, three details. Save my changes. Switch to the browser. Refresh. Then I could simply go back and change the X's to hold whatever I wanted to. I can hear you saying, but that's not putting text in the middle of the page. Don't forget that we've learned to use width with images back in Notepad. Width equals, I could add either a number of pixels or percentage. I think in this case, I'll want 100% of the screen. Save my changes, switch to the browser. Now I'm starting to see a plan. I could get rid of these items and just wind up having some information in the middle of the page. I can't have a blank detail. So what can I put in to replace these X's that need to go away? I heard somebody say it, a non-breaking space. So let me put non-breaking spaces in all of the left column details and non-breaking spaces in the right column details. Save my changes. Switch to the browser. Refresh. It collapsed a little bit. I wonder if I can control the width of individual columns. How about I make the first detail width equals 33%. How about I make the second detail the same? Save my changes. Switch to the browser. So this is 33%. This is 33%. So I guess my math is telling me the table made this detail 34%. I only need to define one detail in a column, not on every single row. The largest column makes every other item in that column the same width. 
So now I could change back to Notepad. I'm going to make this one say hi. I'm going to make this one say bye. And I'll put a non breaking space in here. Save my changes, switch to the browser. I still see table border. How about I just make that table border zero? Save my changes, switch to the browser, refresh. And now I have text hanging near the middle of the page. What happens if that window isn't quite as large? The good news is it will always take up 100% of the available screen. More on tables to come.